In this video, you'll learn how to use this parallax effect to create beautiful animations. Okay, so create a new canvas. Open gallery as a floating window to import reference. Always have reference ready before animating. Scale it down using the transform tool. Now let's change the background color first by going to properties here. I'm choosing something that will fit the overall scene. Now on a new layer using the path tool, Draw a vector curve. I have a small color palette where I have saved the shades I want to use. This is one way of drawing vector shapes. You can even draw it using the brush tool. I will use the control points option, symmetric, and make it a perfect curve. I will reduce the stroke width slightly and use the fill tool to fill it in. A very important tip, go to drawing layers and merge down the layers so that you don't get this effect when you apply parallax. I follow the same technique for the second layer. For the third and fourth layer, I will be using complete shapes like this. Third being a circle. Choose scaling mode to freeform to get an elliptical shape. I will place it behind like this. Maybe give it a slight rotation. And now add one more layer. Choose a color and this time let's use this triangle and add some corner radius from properties here so that we get a rounded shape and no sharp edges. You'll see that the scaling mode hasn't changed. Now I want to add some trees in between these four layers. So I will add a layer exactly here in between and now using the brush tool I will draw them in. Remember to merge down the layers in drawing layers. I will hide the reference and now let's apply a parallax effect to each of these layers. Tap on the background layer, go to properties, effects and choose parallax right at the bottom here. This depth slider allows you to control the movement. Since it's the farthest, I keep the depth to a maximum value of around 60%. The next one will be slightly lower to around 50%. The trees around 40, mid ground to 20 approximately, and foreground between 5 and 7 percent. Now let's go to the camera layer. Even if you simply move the layer with the transform tool, it shows you a beautiful effect like this. Now tap on this diamond icon to keyframe the position and scale. Okay, we have to set the scaling mode back to uniform. Yes, this is better. I want a zoom out effect, so I scale in and move the camera layer to the left. Move the playhead further away and now I will move the camera layer to the right and zoom out. Adjust it again so that the scene is visible. Maybe an infinite background would have been the best choice for this, but yeah, this works fine. Play the animation to check for errors. Now you can even tap individual layers like this, go to the parallax effect and adjust the depth. You can see the movement being adjusted here. You can even see the camera layer moving if you scrub the timeline like this. I hope you found this helpful and thank you so much for watching.